Southwest Virginia was also hit hard by the flooding, especially in Tazewell County, and this is drone video shot of that area. According to emergency officials, more than 500 people in the town of Richlands have been re have been displaced and needed to be rescued. 10 News reporter Taj Simmons tells us what one local team did to help while also dealing with an emergency here at home. We were very surprised to see how much uh, of the town was flooded. Parts of the Tazewell County town of Richland ended up underwater due to Thursday's relentless rain and the Pulaski County Special Operations Team headed straight for the floodwaters. About four feet deep, chest deep. Drew McClarity and two other teammates drove down to Richland for an emergency assist. They used this truck the department bought from the military to rescue a dozen people from their flooded homes. It was very helpful that we're able to carry a lot of people and not have to put them in the water, which reduces the risk of hypothermia. Water is very cold and flood water is generally very dirty. While the three were tackling Tazewell County's crisis, the powerful Peak Creek caused problems back in Pulaski. I live in that little white trailer right there. Buck Worrell lives on Sycamore Lane, which routinely gets washed out when the creek floods. Cleans it out, but you got to pay the price. And this is the price. <laughs> I mean, you do what you can, right? Yeah, that's right. You do what you can. That night, he tried to help a neighbor who was suffering a medical emergency. It's rough because you really don't know how long it's going to take to get them out. Before long, the special operations team, including the Richlands crew, showed up to rescue the neighbor through the raging waters. They know how to do everything. I mean, they was awesome. They was awesome. The waters in Pulaski have receded enough for Worrell to cross the creek on foot. But the situation in Tazewell County is a reminder of how devastating weather like this can be. Our system may be overwhelmed. We have to call for help, and we know that it'll come. In Pulaski, Taj Simmons, 10 News, working for you.